Hello everyone, this is Joseph K. Welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. In the last part, we did a bunch of side stuff. We got ourselves another uh, catalyst weapon. So, yay. That's cool. And now it is time to... Do more side quests. We are going to go chase down these... Uh, stone fragments for jade and while we're doing this we're gonna go ahead and uh, take care of some other side quest stuff so our first destination let's go to Kessedonia Oh yeah, it actually might help if I get in my album. Alright, now let's head to Kessidonia. Also, what I recommend doing... Probably starting now. I'm not going to do it. Because I'm recording. But what I recommend doing is every time you go in and out of a town... Take a moment to go and get all your different uh, search points. The way search points work is they will restock after you go in and out of a town or a dungeon. And while we're here, let's go pay Den a visit. I think we get in our title with, uh... Natalia here, too. So, sell everything except your Libavius or... Your um, sacred oak? What is it? Your sacred wood and your navy metal. If you happen to have any of those, keep them. We need them for the next uh, smithing middle mini game. Now it's not impossible to get them this early in the game, it's just easier to get them once you have all the search points found. Because once you find all the search points in the game, including the un, uh, the unlisted ones, and you come and talk to Din, she gives you, uh, What am I talking about? She gives you a title for Natalia that allows you to get rank 5 uh, items. Natalia can get, actually, if I'm not mistaken, the Child of Lamville Deer? I think we actually have the uh, title list for... Uh, I think... Uh, ooh, okay. I actually do have the title for Natalia that... Now, we're going to put on her Labyrinth Princess. This allows her to find, have a better chance of finding rank 4 or better items. Which means I'm more than likely going to take some time in the very near future to go searching for some stuff. But of course, since I'm here, let me go ahead and stock up on all my ingredients that I don't have max on. And let's go in here. Alright, what you want to do now is, if I can, get up these stairs. Take this middle door right here. And look to the right. Examine this desk. Oh, look, one of the Forbidden Verse stones is here. It is the universal principle that sparkles in the desert. The line vanished from the scroll as well. But didn't that stone belong to someone here? After it's vanished, we have no way of returning it. Tears right, we must apologize. But I wonder if they'll believe us. Hmm, yes, this is Malkator ter territory, is this not? In that case...
What? That stone? Yes, it has been claimed for use by the Malkuth forces. If you are dissatisfied, please file a written complaint with headquarters. Oh no, I don't mind, but it's just the rock I picked up in the desert. That's fine. Wasn't that overly forceful? But we no longer have any way of returning it. It doesn't quite feel right to me. Alright. Now, even though I don't have it because I'm an idiot and I either sold it or forgot about it, likely the latter, but if you happen to have your striped ribbon, you can go down and talk to the Antlion Man again and you will get another scene and you can continue on with that. And theoretically speaking, you could finish the Antlion Quest stuff up now. Unfortunately, I will not be able to do that. Not until way later in the game. Anyways, now we want to go to Ketterberg. Think about it, when I was a child, I saw something that resembled the Forbidden Verse Stone. Oh, you conveniently remember that now. Really? I believe Saphir went and... Saphir? Come on, Luke, give it the program. Saphir is this. We already know that. Ah, I think his servant from my childhood buried something that looked like a Forbidden Verse Stone. Behind the statue of Carl III in the plaza. Let's look for it. All right. But of course, I'm not gonna go look for it. I'm gonna go and talk to people. Ever since the score stopped being read, it seems as though more and more people have been moving to Ketterberg. But Nefri has decided not to let any more in. Did you know that there are new prizes to win at the casino? The pointer is a must have for any real man. Just the other day, I won really big at Nefri Ball in the casino. I got three balls of match. Isn't that amazing? Actually, I think I've talked to these people. Anyways. I'm wasting time. And time is of the essence because I still have to edit a video and get it uploaded. And it's almost midnight and I work tomorrow and I have a concert to go to. But anyways, let's go to the second floor. Wait, was I already here? I feel like I was already here. Was I already here? I have no recollection. Huh. Anyways, go to the plaza. And then come around behind and examine. Here's something. Is this it? It's got letters on it. Yes, the great power that doth sleep at the foot of the frozen mountain. Looks like it really was one of the Forbidden Verse stones. Yes, the line has vanished from the scroll as well. Where do we go now? Let's go back to Sheridan. And actually, I will cut back to Sheridan. I'm going to go ahead and examine the 17 search points that I have unlocked right now. 
Because it'd be really nice to go to Sheridan with the Lebabius or the Sacred uh, Tree and the uh, Navy Metal. But I don't know, I think the Lebavius Ore is only available in Search Point 18. I'm not sure, but anyways, I will see you guys in Sheridan. Alright, we're back nearly eight minutes later, and guess what? We did get all the ingredients we need for the final upgrade, our final smithy. So, if you're looking for Navy Metal, you can find it at Search Point 6. That's where I found mine. If you're looking for Sacred Tree, you can find that at Search Point 11. And if you're looking for the Lebavius Ore, it's actually at Search Point 16. I thought it was at Search Point 18, and I was wrong. I may not have been wrong, though. It might also be at Search Point 18. But there are a few things we could do in here before we even consider anything. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the meeting hall real quick. Get ourselves a quick scene. Talk to Cheagle. He says his name is Star. I'm sorry, would you all mind if we stay at the end here tonight? What's up, Colonel? It must be my age. My back is hurting me and I don't think I can walk today. Yeah, right. Oh well, sure. Let's go to the end. Go on ahead. Don't tell me you don't think you can walk. You can even walk to the end. No, my glasses have been acting up, so I'd like to borrow the lab here. Oh, I'll need fire. Mia, would you stay with me? Okay. Then we'll go on ahead. Mew, before we begin the work, please let the sorcerer's ring to star. There's something I'd like to ask him. You? Okay. Star, are you an original? A replica test subject? Yes. Did they make a replica? A copy of you? Yes. Icky man, they this did it to me. I thought so. And when was this? About half a year ago, I think. If he learned at Ca Coral Castle that Luke and Ash are perfect isophones, then the timing matches. One last thing. What happened to the other you? I think he died. You think? Actually, I died once. And then after that, I felt something flow into me, and then I wasn't dead. That is a very, very, very interesting thing to note. Keep that in mind for later. Much, much, much later in the game, viewers. And then the other me was gone. Does this mean this completed the perfect isophone research? Then those research results weren't just a coincidence. Mew, you mustn't tell anyone what you heard here. Even if I wanted to, I don't understand any of it. All right. Uh, let's go up here. I think I can do this now. No, I can't do it yet. Or can I? Not yet. Okay. Uh, there is something we can do there later. Mew, 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 mew. Alright, now. Let's go and do the equipment shop. Now, this is tantamount you basically have to play the game twice and get to this point in the game a second time because in order to fully complete your item book you need to do this twice so give me a second here so I can direct you to exactly what it is we're looking for there are three items you can craft here. A full metal edge, a full metal fang, or a golden armor. 
you can get the full metal fang from Din uh, by uh, crafting it. I believe it's actually an arrow for uh, Natalia. However, the full metal edge is a sword. And this is the only place in the entire game you can get it. Likewise, the golden armor is really good armor, and that's also the only place in the game you can get it. So, by extension, you have to play this game twice, all the way, at least up to this point, if you're trying to 100% your collector's book. I'm going to go for the sword now, and in my second playthrough, I will go ahead and uh, do the golden armor. That's how I did it in my regular playthrough, and that's how I'm going to do it here. So let's get the full metal edge. I've been waiting for you, young one. Have you come to understand that fire is a living thing? Yep, just leave it to me. Luke, you're not fooling anyone. No matter. Today is our final challenge. I will require it will require great perseverance. The final materials are Libavius ore, sacred wood, and navy metal. Yes. Here you go. All right. What shall we make this time? You can make a sword, a bow. Yeah, it's a bow for uh, uh, Natalia. Honestly, do either the sword or the armor. It doesn't matter. Whatever your playthrough is, I'm using the sword. The sword, huh? Are you sure? Yep. So let's get started. You stand over here. Right, let's do this. I think you know by now. But I... If... But you'll need to control the bellows just as I say. Yep. All right. This is the last one. It's a long, difficult road. But I know you can make it to the end. Ready? Let's do it. It's a failure. It's no surprise to find this difficult. If you can overcome this, you'll have reached the top. Come back and try again any time. All right, this is difficult, so I'm gonna do this one more time and then I'll just cut to the successful attempt. It is very difficult. Done. To succeed in this challenge is truly a praiseworthy thing. And we get the full metal edge. Your long, arduous training is now at an end. You have the potential to become a skilled weaponsmith. Come back anytime. Hehe. <laughs> Got your next job picked out, huh, guy? That might not be so bad. Are you serious? Pear's gonna be angry. I'll let you handle Pear. If you decide you'd like to carry on my business, come back anytime I'm waiting for you. And let us equip this weapon to Luke. Well, actually, let's give it to Guy. He's the one that worked for it. Oh, is uh, Guy's uh, attack higher than Luke's? No, it's not. That's interesting. Huh. Alright, we really need to give Luke something else. Um. Let's see, do I have anything else that's better for enhancement? I want to get his enhancement in, uh, up to 60. 
Enhancement agility. Uh, she's got that. Uh, okay. Um. You know, it's very difficult in the going to figure this out. We'll just leave it. But that's it for that. My arm's cramping up for that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go and get the next piece of the phone stone thing, shall we? Anyways, we want to come over here now. Stop right there, evil man. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Take this, Abyss Red. My special attack. The embrace of heartless silver that doth carve the barren wilds. What? Wasn't that the same as one of the lines on the ancient scroll? Hey kid, did you think that special attack up all by yourself? No, there was a weird treasure chest on the path to Port Sheridan and those words were written on it. His father found it, but it doesn't open, so he brought the whole thing home. This is it, see? It's locked, it doesn't open. What do you think, Colonel? Let me see. This is definitely a forbidden verse stone. The embrace of heartless silver that doth carve the barren wilds. Who'd have thought it'd be in a place like this? No, oh, that's not Jay talking. Yes. Hmm. New words have appeared on the ancient scroll. This is the way to cast the phonic of the forbidden verse. In other words, we've undone the seal. Yes, so it appears. This phonic art is called absolute. What kind of phonic art is it? We'll find out when I use it. Hey, hey, all right, we learned absolute. Okay. Now then. We already did the Rocket Man stuff. That's what it wants us to do now. Uh, let's talk to this guy. I want to see if he has any food. Does. Let's get the bread. Okay, now our next agenda is let's stop at Belkin. show you guys a secret. Some of you might know about the secret, some of you might not. But that's the fun of 100% playthrough. After all. Uh, do you have any food I don't have yet? Wrong one. All right, we're good. Okay, so. 
I'm about to make this real easy for you. Come over here. Examine this switch. Doing that causes this cart to come out, which causes that to be pushed out of the way. Go up the way we, the cart went. You can't go where the cart went entirely. Make sure you have Mew Fire on. Come to this hole here. Hit the switch. Then you want to use Mew Attack on that. Come in here to a secret passage that gives you a secret treasure. A grass chamber. You never have too many of those. Now, let me show you something cool. Come over here, examine this wall. Do -do 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 -do. And you get another secret passage that takes you back to where Van's office is. Really nice. Now we want to go and... Open this. Come over here and examine this. This is a forbidden verse stone. Colonel, if you undo the seal on the scroll, the stone will vanish. We should get permission from someone. This facility belongs to Father. I think it'll be okay. And Natalia is here too. But we can't just... Oh? Well, in that case, the rainbow of the swamp doth illuminate those who seeketh knowledge. Colonel! Oh, my apologies. I accidentally released the seal. <laughs> and Jade. If you look up villain in the dictionary, I bet you'll see Jade's face next to it. <laughs> One of the best lines of the entire game. Uh... But we're not done, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, no, no. We have one more of those stones we can get. Almost done with this. This is about, uh, I want to say, 70% complete after we do this next part. Alright, now that we're done with all that in here, there's nothing else to do here. Let us head to the Kitesur Naval Port. I don't know if it matters which way you go in to the Kaiser Naval Fort, but just enter from the uh, land, don't enter from the sea. And the moment you enter, you get a scene. What's up? Master Luke, actually, we found this rock. Whoa, this is a forbidden verse stone. Where did you find it? When we went to investigate the remains of the Exeria Youth collapse, it had fallen nearby. I see. The mountain path may have been the Deo Pass. Could we have that stone? Of course. It has ancient Expanion inscribed on it, so we imagined it might be something valuable. And we were trying to figure out what to do with it. Here, Jade. Right. And shines down with seven colored light upon the mountain path. I'm glad the Forbidden Verse Stone didn't disappear to the Sea of Cliff Off. Yeah. Oh, um, I didn't mean... I know. Sorry, I didn't mean it looked like that. But what other side quests are we going to do? How ignominious are they going to end up being? 
will we ever get back to the story? Find out, well, not next time as far as getting back to the story. But for everything else, find out next time and let's play Tales of the Abyss 100%. This is Joseph K. signing out. Y'all have a great day and keep it real. Later.